What's going on guys? It's your boy James here, Beards and Cars, back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, thank you for subscribing. If you guys are just stopping by, consider hitting that big red subscribe button down below. Now guys, this video here is going to be a follow-up video from a video I did in the past, which was about uh, me finding out that I had vitamin D deficiency, all right? So in that video, I've got a ton of questions, and between that video, my Instagram, and my email blowing up, I'm going to come in here and try to address some of them. And I know a lot of you guys are just wondering, you know, how am I doing now? So that video, I'm really glad that I made that video because there is a ton of people that are messaging me on there that went and took a vitamin D test after that video and found out that they were severely low in vitamin D. So I feel like I really reached out and touched some of you guys. And that means a lot to me to see that some of you guys are getting answers. So that's the most important thing here. I just want to tell you guys, I'm happy that you're getting answers. Now, a lot of you guys were asking me, how am I doing? You know, how am I doing now? It's been months. How am I doing? Okay, so this is how I'm doing, guys. So basically, I wanted to start off with some of the symptoms and how they, you know, basically diminished or when they disappeared, all right? So a lot of you guys were asking, when did the brain fog leave? When did the dizziness leave? Uh, when are you better now? So I'm going to start out with, I'm going to say that probably, no, not even probably, 100% the brain fog left me. I'm going to say within the first probably two to three weeks it didn't leave completely, it just eased up a lot, right? I felt a lot more clearer and sharper in my mind. As far as some of the other symptoms, uh, the vertigo I was having, the weird pain in my head, I was having all kinds of symptoms. If you guys haven't watched the video, I'll try to link it up above here somewhere, and uh, you can watch it, you can click on it, watch that, or I'll put it down below in the description, and you guys can watch that video so you can understand what I'm talking about in this video. So, I had a weird pain in my head. That, uh, that um, also went away, Probably, I'm going to say that went away somewhere between, oh man, it's hard to say. It's been a while, but that started fading away probably around three to four months in. And then my bones were aching like crazy, all right, guys? So it took about four to five months before my bone pain went away. Those of you that's expecting to get immediate relief, I don't think that's going to be the answer here, but then again, I've actually seen people comment and say they felt better within the first dose. So everybody's absolutely different, right? I'm not going to be anything like you and you're not going to be anything like me. My deficiency is probably going to be a little different. I may feel a little worse. You may feel a little worse than me, but if somebody got, you know, relief within the first uh, pill, my God, God bless you, right? Because it took me a while. So I know everybody wants to be healed quickly. I've had people message me, tell me they don't want to live anymore. I've had people message me uh, just feeling like their life is absolutely ended. And then I've had people message me and say that they can't believe that it's something so simple and they appreciate the video that I made because it helped them narrow down what's wrong with them. And that is absolutely what they had wrong once they went and got a test, all right? So with that being said, Everybody that messaged me, it means so much for you guys to just relate to me. It means so much for me to feel like I helped out so many people. So I know some of this isn't the answers you guys want to hear. You wanted to hear uh, it went away like that within the first dose. I know there is people that that did that to. Guys, I'm going to tell you this. I've had people message me and tell me that it took them four to five years four to five years to get rid of this completely. Now, with that being said, guys, I hope that doesn't happen to anybody that watches this video. I hope everyone gets healed a lot faster. But let me tell you where I went wrong, all right? So I took the dose that my doctor gave me, all right? I had 50,000 IU once a week for three months. So I finished that dose and it was rough for me, guys, because if you go back and watch the video, or if you watch the video, you would know that I was having trouble taking that vitamin D. It was giving me a lot of weird uh, trouble sleeping and stuff like that, so it made me not want to take it, all right? So this is where I went wrong. Um, I believe my vitamin D levels was at a 20. When I got through with the dose, I went and got rechecked, and I was up to a 43. I was hoping to be a lot higher than that. Me, personally, I was wanting to be at like 70. You set your own goals. I don't know where you guys want to be. I was wanting to be at like 70, 80, something like that. But I was at a 43. 
So when I finished the dose, I didn't continue taking vitamin D. What I did was I went outside as much as I could, um, you know, somewhere between 30 minutes to two hours, sometimes three hours and sat in the sun, all right? And that's how I got my vitamin D. But I'm not able to do that every single day because sometimes it's raining for a week straight. Some days it's really cloudy. Um, and some days I just feel like crap, so I didn't want to go out and get sun. But let me tell you what helped me out, guys. There's a there's an app. I don't know if it's on iPhone, but it is on Android. It's called D, the letter D, and then Reminder. So D Reminder. So you go in there, you set pretty much where you live at, what your vitamin D level's at, and then every time you take a vitamin D supplement, it's got a little button where you can hit a supplement and then add in how much vitamin D you're taking. And then also when you go outside to uh, supplement sitting in the sun, you can hit uh, start sun session and that basically will start counting. And every so many minutes, depending on how much the UV index is, you will it will start counting upwards and show you how much vitamin D you're getting in 20, 30 minutes, however long you're out there. And that really helped me out. But what I noticed is, after I started feeling better, I slacked off a lot. I pulled back. I don't want to say I slacked off right off the bat because once I started feeling better, I actually got up moving around a lot more. A lot of things came, a lot of things just started coming back together. I felt a lot better. All right. But where I messed up was not being able to go out and get vitamin D every day. Now, I haven't been retested since, but since I wasn't supplementing every day and I wasn't getting outside every day, and here's my problem. I think personally, I should have been supplementing every day and then going outside when I could. But instead of supplementing every day, I was just going outside and getting sunlight. Not every day, but when I could. Now, sometimes I get 10,000 IU out there. Sometimes I get 2,000. Sometimes I get 5,000. And then there would be a week where I wouldn't get any. All right. So what happened is probably about six months later, um, and I may, not be, I may not be exactly right on my dates here, but probably about six months after I stopped taking the dose that my doctor gave me because I finished it, I started feeling like I was going backwards, right? So I started getting a little bit of confusion, not nowhere as bad. I started getting uh, a little bit of brain fog and the same thing, it wasn't anywhere as bad. But the thing that's been bothering me the most is my bones have been hurting like crazy again. Not as bad as they did the first time. Now the first time, guys, when I say my bones are hurting, all right, when I say my bones are hurting the first time before I figured this out, I felt like I was 105 years old and my bones were about to just blow up into dust. That's how bad my body hurt. Now keep in mind, I'm 40 years old, all right? I'm 40 years old and I felt like I was over 100. I'm not exaggerating, guys. I don't know what it feels like to be 100. A 100-year-old person might have felt better than I felt. But my bones felt like they were just going to shatter into dust. They hurt so bad. Now, my bones are starting to ache again. So what I did was, hold on one minute. All right, I'm back. So what I did, guys, was I went on Amazon and I found not the biggest dose, but I found a dose that I was comfortable with, right? And this is something I've been taking right here. So this is uh, Puritan Prides. This is uh, 10,000 IU vitamin D3. Now, this is what I take. Check with your doctor. Do your own research on what you want to take. I'm not a doctor. I cannot advise you guys to take something. This is what I take. Um, and if you're interested in it, I'll put a link down below. You guys can read up on it and see what you think. But this is what I started taking again, all right? Now, I'm on probably week two of taking this again. I'm starting to feel better already again. But I think it's because I didn't fall all the way back down to 20. I don't know if I fell down at all. But I just, I had to start falling backwards because I, I just feel like, I started feeling like crap again, all right? So for me personally, it's real important for me to keep taking a dose to keep my vitamin D up because I feel like I can literally feel it going down. So this is what I started taking. I will take this one to two times a week to get 20,000. I'm not going to go up to uh, 50,000 like I was taking before. I'm going to take 20,000 for the, this is what I've been taking for the curve, uh, first week or two now. And then as I get further and, you know, further down the road, I'll adjust my dose. Sometimes I feel like I have to play with it. So I may get back up to 40,000. I might even take one of these per day, depending on what I feel like I actually need. I will kind of you know, shift it back and forth and see what my body likes and how it reacts to it. 
But what I did like about this vitamin D here is the first thing I noticed was it gave me a lot of energy. Um, it gave me a t the first time I took it, it gave me a, it gave me a ton of energy, man. I literally, I literally worked inside my house, outside in the garage for like 12 hours straight without stopping, uh, which was pretty awesome to have that kind of energy, especially after feeling so down with vitamin D like that. Also, it didn't give me the weird feeling that the other vitamin D my doctor gave me when I went to sleep. You know, uh, the first time I went to sleep on the other vitamin D, I was really like waking up every five, 10 minutes, gasping for air. This didn't do that. So I think this is a little bit more natural. It, this don't have soy in it. I'm allergic to soy. Maybe that's something to do with the soy. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what I've been doing right there. And uh, I know you guys are probably gonna comment later on and ask me how I'm doing again. That's fine. You guys can still message. You guys are more than welcome to message me on Instagram. However it is that you can get a hold of me if you need to get a hold of me. I will talk to everybody. I know some of you guys feel really, really bad. All I can say is for you guys that are suffering from this is please keep your head up. Don't get so down and just know that there is hope. Just because I'm making a video saying that I feel like I'm going backwards, that's my own stubbornness. I should have kept taking my uh, daily dose, you know. I thought I could go outside <clears throat> outside and get enough sun and supplement that way. But it just wasn't enough because the sun ain't out every day. Sometimes it's pouring down raining, like I said. So that was my bad. But <clears throat> you guys out there that's suffering, please keep your heads up. It'll get better. Let's just hope it don't take four to five years, like this other guy said, to get a complete turnaround. You know, I know some of you guys, I've read comments, some of you guys already feel better within the first month. Two months feel like there's no symptoms anymore. That's completely awesome. And to every single one of you guys that commented on the last video and hit the thumbs up, and anybody that's still watching, please hit the thumbs up. Man, I really love you guys. Much respect to all you guys. Keep your heads up. I love the way you guys are interacting in the comments with each other. It really lets me know that people still do care and stuff like this really exists. This is not something to mess with, guys. A lot of people uh, hear vitamin D and they're not thinking uh, how bad it can actually destroy your life. You're just hearing vitamin, vitamin, vitamin. And people don't understand that that vitamin D is a hormone and it really affects your brain, all right? So you can get really depressed and have all kinds of weird symptoms, be chemically off balance, just by having a vitamin D deficiency. So don't just listen to the word vitamin and think, oh, it's just a vitamin, I don't need it. It's really important, guys, right? Really, really important. So go get checked out. And to anybody that's still watching, like I said, much respect, I love you guys. Comment down below, let me know that if since you watched the last video, if you're doing any better, or if you're still, you know, getting there. Or if you did like me and you stopped taking it, it went backwards. I know I've seen a couple of people that said they feel like they're going backwards. Let's just keep our heads up, guys, because we're going we're gonna to keep trying, all right? Also, I wanted to say that there was a lot, a lot of symptoms that I missed out on in my first video that I actually had. And the reason I missed out on those guys is because there were so many symptoms, it was hard to kind of put in a video. And I was having trouble actually making that video. I was, I was still in the making of, you know, trying to get better. And you know, when you have brain fog like that, you start stuttering and stuff just don't come to you. But there was a lot and a lot of symptoms. And I've seen some of you guys say, my doctor don't believe that, you know, all these symptoms could be linked to vitamin D. That's bullshit guys. Just get checked and make sure, right? So if you guys want to see a video on all the symptoms I can think of that I had, let me know in the comments down below also. I'll try to whip that up. This is not my actual content that I actually make, guys. Those of you that subscribe because of the video, I really appreciate it. But guys, my videos are pretty much based on beards, all right? Um, so if you got a beard or you're thinking about growing a beard, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Uh, but other than that, guys, I really appreciate each and every one of you guys stopping by, checking out the video. I really appreciate you guys wondering how I'm doing now, and I still want to know how you guys are doing. With that being said, I'll see y'all in the next one.